Thank you for this invitation of this capsule. I'm the Father Canon Maurice Francois from the Diocese of Toronto of the Anglican Church of Canada. Uh, I was invited no, and to share about liturgy. And there we go. We will speak in three areas. First, the meaning, then the connotation, and then context. About the meaning, if this is a Greek word, liturgos, which means public service, the work of the people, the work of everyone. Originally, this word was for secular use, finances, military purposes, and politics, and was mandatory. But gradually, gradually started to use in the religious world. So, let us go to the second aspect, the connotation. This is a word which can intimidate people because it's strongly linked and associated to ceremonial rites, calendars, sacramental life for exclusive people and for specific places. This connotation takes away the original meaning because it was in the beginning something accessible, simple and manageable. We have here a big challenge is to educate and to understand that liturgy is simple and belong to everyone, the people, you and I. And finally the context, because now this word is used mostly or principally by religious institution, uh, this word is linked to churches in general. We can share a lot about liturgy, the classic and conventional use of this word like the liturgy of the hours, or the liturgy, liturgy of the church calendar, of the liturgy of the word of God, and the liturgy of the liturgical life, or sacramental life, sorry. But let us simplify the meaning of liturgy to our daily lives. That implies even our way, how we use our time, because part of liturgy is our punctuality, a very complex and challenge for Latin American communities. Liturgy is the way how we move from private to our interaction in community, our solidarity, our empathy. Liturgy is not a frozen world. Liturgy is not an rigid concept. Liturgy is not an elaborate choreography or paraphernalia. Liturgy starts when we awake, when until we go to our bed, because this is the way how we worship God with our lives, our acts, and our words. So let us check our lives. Let us evaluate our lives. Let us value our lives. Why? Because liturgy is you, and not only in a building. Remember, you are the temple of the Spirit. Amen.